At this point in your studies of calculus, you've likely encountered this incredibly scary looking formula for determining an expression for the slope of the tangent line of a function at a given point. If you want to know where this thing comes from or what it means, check out the link video as I really just want to show you an example of how to apply it here. So let's work with the function f at x equals x cubed. Our definition tells us that we need to look at f at x plus h, which really just means take x plus h and put it in place of x in the original function. If we do that, this would give us x plus h cubed. So with f of x equals x cubed and f at x plus h equal to x plus h cubed, substituting these into our definition results in this line here. Now for some of you, x plus h cubed is kind of a scary or intimidating expression. Maybe you're used to doing FOIL for something like x plus h squared, but this cube certainly complicates things. We know that x plus h cubed is really just x plus h times x plus h times x plus h. I could use the FOIL process on two of these x plus h's to produce x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. I'll let you do the FOIL to double check that. But that still leaves me with another x plus h times my result. Multiplying x times each of my terms as well as h times all of my terms and collecting like terms would result in this nasty expression here. Now I'm not going over this part in detail as this is something that I've covered in another video that demonstrates an interesting connection between Pascal's triangle and binomial expansion. So I'll link that video here. So with our result of x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed, I can take that result and place it into our definition in place of x plus h cubed, as shown here in green. You'll remember that I'm subtracting the original function of x cubed. Notice that the two x cubes cancel. This is something that should happen every time you use the first principle's definition. Any term without an h should cancel, and if it doesn't, you've made a mistake. So you'll notice that the only terms left have an h. And if each term I'm looking at here has an h in common, I can common factor out an h and produce this expression. We know h divided by h is 1, so I can essentially cancel out those h's, massively simplifying to 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared. Up until this point, I wasn't able to simply substitute in 0 for h, because doing so would result in 0 over 0. But having cancelled the h in the denominator, I'm now able to evaluate my limit by substituting in 0. This results in any term with an h disappearing, leaving only 3x squared. This is an expression for the slope of the tangent line at any given point for the function f of x equals x cubed. So for the function x cubed, we say the derivative, or f prime of x, is equal to 3x squared. So this was all pretty long and tedious, right? Oh man, if only there was, you know, some sort of epic shortcut that would let you, I don't know, find the expression for the slope of a tangent line at a given point way quicker. No, <laughs> wait, there is. Check out the linked video for an insane shortcut that your teacher doesn't want you to know. Thanks for watching.